Um, so this is a ice cream mango tree that my husband purchased from Planogram. So, um, about a week ago, I was looking in our backyard and through all of our plants and I had an epiphany. I was like, I have so many different varieties of fruit trees and berries and uh, the one thing I don't have is a mango tree. And um, mangoes mean a lot to me because as a child, I grew up with mango trees all around me in Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore. Um, and then when I lived in South America, we had different varieties of mangoes there. And so mangoes were like an apple to me. I never ate apples, but mangoes were all around me and I could pick them off the tree. And so this is exciting because it's my first mango tree. Uh, when I said that to my husband, he was like, well, I'm gonna go on a mission to find her the perfect mango tree uh, for our climate and that we can grow in a pot because we like things that we can easily move around we can't put it in our soil. Obviously, they can't handle cold temperatures. Uh, we're in zone 8A, and so we're going to need to be able to move this plant either indoors or into our greenhouse um, as the seasons change. Um, so this is a ice cream mango tree that my husband purchased from Planogram. And um, this is not something that was sent to us free, but uh, this is the variety that he researched and um, picked out for us. Uh, so let's see what it looks like when we open up the box. So once again, this is a mango tree that we've purchased from Planogram. Uh, we've never actually purchased a tree from them before, so this will be the first time unboxing um, one of their plants. I'm excited to see how it came through the mail. Um, I think it's been about six days since it was purchased. And this will be our first look at this ice cream mango or tropical tree that we're going to be growing in a pot. So this variety has nice small mangoes. Typically they go from uh, green to yellow. They say that this mango variety tastes like ice cream sherbet. Um, and it won't get any bigger than about six feet tall. bright green foliage. It looks like it traveled well. Here we go, our ice cream mango. Popular condo mango, and the reason they call it that is because it's a dwarf. Uh, excellent for container plants, and it can easily be maintained to the height of just six feet tall. So this is exactly what we wanted, and um, so this is a grafted variety, or actually most most mangoes are grafted. Um, and here you can see where they grafted it. This variety actually came from uh, Trinidad and Tobago, and then it was brought over to Florida. And then now we have this variety in the United States. Thanks so much for watching. We plan on doing a follow-up video, so stay tuned.